our final question tonight comes from Rebecca Clark. Over the last four years, the government has spent $50 million to detain one family, including two young girls, which contravenes the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, of which we are a signatory. How can this be justified on either economic or moral grounds, particularly when there is huge support from the community of Biloela and the wider Australian community for them to return home? This family have been to hell and back. And it's time that this country gave them a bit of compassion and gave them a fair go. They did everything right. They, uh, once they got to Australia, because they were fleeing persecution, because they, were, they came here as refugees, which, by the way, is not a crime at all, it's totally legal to do. <laughs> and when they got to Australia, they became members of their local community. Mm. They got jobs. They integrated. They became part of a community that loved them. Yeah. And to use them as an example, the Prime Minister has overseen them being ripped out of Billa Wheeler, sent over to Christmas Island. There's two girls here, two little girls. And, you know, the Prime Minister likes to talk about his family. Well, what about this family? And what about their daughters? Malcolm Turnbull. Uh, we, we are running out of time. Yeah, yeah. We have to keep this brief. There is a new Home Affairs Minister, yeah. Karen Andrews. Mm. Um, there is ministerial discretion mm. uh, that is used in all sorts of refugee, asylum, uh, migration cases, given that Australia is crying out for new migrants, given mm. that these people have a yeah. community that wants them, is there a case for a yeah. different approach here? Yeah, look, of course it is. I mean, Hamish, the, the, there's a lot of discretion with the Minister for Immigration and all of these policies have got to be, you know, and what Keith says about border protection is, is you know, is, I agree with that. We do have a tough policy and that's how we've kept, kept the people smugglers out of business, but, but... You, there's a difference between scratching your ear and ripping it off, as my late father used to say, and you need to have a bit of subtlety, you need to have compassion, you need to have some humanity. That family should be back in Queensland and I hope the minister takes the opportunity of the change of minister, she's the new minister, and she can now look at the file anew, use her discretion and bring them back to Queensland to the community that wants them and that would be the right thing to do. Yeah.